In this fourth and final video in the SCM trial series, you'll see how to set up a Private Certification Authority, or Private CA, and how to order and issue security certificates against it. Before we show you how it works, let's quickly review the differences between the trial and full versions of Sictigo's Private CA. In the trial version of SCM, you can set up online root Private CAs only. When you subscribe to Sictigo's full Private CA, online and offline root Private CAs are possible. In the trial, you will add the Private CAs yourself. In the full version, we host all root and issuing CAs within our highly secure infrastructure, perform all Private CA configurations for you, and provide the issuing and root CA certificates you need in SCM. SSL and client certificates enrolled against the trial Private CA have a 30-day lifespan. Full Private CA certificates typically have one or two year terms, depending on the type. On the Settings tab in SCM, click the Certificates tab, then the Private CA's sub-tab. Click the Add button to get started. If you have an active trial and don't see this button, contact Sictigo Support. Enter a CA name. The only option available in the Parent Issuer field is None, Self-Issued Root, because you must create a Root CA first. Click Next. Select a template to determine the key type for the root and the lifetime. For self-issued roots, RSA 2048 has a fixed expiration date of December 30th, 2030. For all other key types, the lifetime is 20 years. Click Next. Select a signature algorithm for the root CA and click Next. Enter a customer name for the CA. The customer name, or CN, is used for the organization and common name fields when the CA certificate is generated. Complete the remaining fields and click Next. Click OK to see the new root CA listed in the private CA table. Now create an issuing CA. Click Add, enter a CA name, and select the root CA you just created as the parent issuer. Click Next. Select a template to determine the key type and lifetime for the issuing CA. For issuing CAs, RSA 2048 is 5 years and 10 years for all other key types. Click Next. The signature algorithm defaults to the one selected for the root CA and cannot be changed. Click Next. Enter a customer name, complete the remaining fields, and click Next. Click OK, then click OK to close the confirmation message. The new issuing CA is now listed in the table of private CAs, and you can start enrolling private level certificates against it. And finally, please note that we recommend you create accurate entries during your trial so that if you choose to subscribe to the full private CA service, the migration of your settings to our live environment will go more efficiently. The SEM trial lets you enroll privately trusted certificates against your trial private CA. There are three basic steps. Set up certificate profiles for your private CA, request a certificate with that certificate profile, and finally, approve the request so the certificate can be issued. So, what are certificate profiles? SCM provides a selection of certificate templates as a starting point. Simply customize these templates to create certificate profiles tailored to meet your specific needs. You can usually specify, for example, the issuing CA, if it's public or private, although only private is allowed for the trial, the term length, and what organization and department admins can request that type of certificate profile. The SCM trial allows you to add or edit certificate profiles for all four certificate types supported by Sictigo, SSL, client, code signing, and device. For this demonstration, we'll look at adding an SSL certificate profile for your trial private CA. On the Settings tab in SCM, click Certificates, which opens the Certificate Profiles sub-tab by default. Click Add. On the Add Certificate Profile window, enter a name and description. In the Enrolling Backend field, the only option available is Sictigo Private CA because you are working in the trial version. Notice your choice here also determines whether the trust level is set to public or private. In the full version, of course, you can choose any private or public CA configured in your SCM. Now select your certificate type. 
Note that setting up SSL, client, and code signing certificates is basically the same, but in this demonstration, we'll select SSL. In the trial, the certificate template and term fields default to the limited options available for the trial. In the full SCM, however, there are typically several options here. The remaining fields can be left at the default values. Click OK. You can now see the new certificate profile in your list and continue creating as many as you need. There are two things you need before you order a trial SSL certificate. The first is an SSL certificate profile, which you just saw how to set up. The second thing is a certificate signing request or CSR, but if you're familiar with SSL certificates, you already know this. In SEM, CSRs must be at least 2048 bit. As soon as you've got these two things, you're ready to order. For more information about CSRs, refer to the Sictigo Certificate Manager Trial Quick Start Guide. On the Certificates tab, make sure the SSL Certificates sub-tab is selected, then click Add. This is where you specify how you will provide your CSR, but the only option that will work in the trial version is the default, Manual Creation of CSR. Click Next. You can paste your CSR in the CSR field, or upload a text file that contains the CSR. Click Next. Now provide basic information about the SSL certificate. Leave your default organization, but note that in future, especially with the full version of SCM, you might also request certificates for a specific department. Select the certificate profile. In this case, the SSL certificate profile you created in this trial. The certificate term for all trial certificates is 30 days, but non-trial certificates often have longer options. The common name is typically already populated as it is pulled from the CSR. If it was not, enter one now. You will see your name in the requester field. This cannot be edited. If others need to receive the certificate when it is issued, enter their email addresses in the external requester field. Click the advanced options link to add comments on the certificate if you wish, then click next. Mark the enable auto renewal of the certificate checkbox if you want to trigger automatic renewal when the certificate is close to expiring. You can also specify how many days before expiration you want the auto renew process to begin. Click next. If the certificate subscriber agreement appears, you must review the text, mark the I agree checkbox and then click OK. You'll now see the certificate you just requested in the list with the status of requested. As an MRAO or top level SCM administrator, you can review and approve all requested certificates, including your own. Select the certificate and click Approve. Enter a message to be included in the approval notification email and click OK. The certificate status is now approved. Very soon it changes to Issued, color-coded green to indicate the certificate was ordered from the SCM. The Issued status also means the certificate collection email has been sent to the applicant. In this case, of course, that's you. The email provides summary information about the certificate and a series of certificate download links for different formats. You can also download the certificate from the SSL Certificates sub-tab as soon as the certificate status is issued. With the certificate selected, click Details. Beside Download the Certificate, click Select. Download the desired format, then install the SSL certificate on the intended private server. This short video series was designed to get you up and running quickly with the SEM trial by showcasing key features. There's a lot more information about features and functionality in the Sectigo Certificate Manager Trial Quick Start Guide, which you'll find in the Sectigo Knowledge Base online. But if you've seen enough and you're ready to upgrade to the full version of SEM or have questions that haven't been answered yet, contact sales by emailing sales at sectigo.com.